This time on Goss's Garage, we're going to solve one of the mysteries of the ages. You got your car, and you have to keep adding coolant to the radiator. And you check everything, and you take it to the shop, and the shop comes out with one of these old things and pressurizes the cooling system, and you can't find any leaks. You don't see any signs of anything underneath the car. You don't see any steam any place or anything like that. Where in the world could that coolant be going? Well, one of the more typical places is right here. This is a cylinder head gasket. And cylinder head gaskets on modern cars, they don't fail like they did on older cars most times. See, lots of times what happens is that the uh, head gasket fails and combustion pressures from the burning fuel, they get pushed past the head gasket into one of these water passages so that the combustion pressure, it displaces the coolant in the cooling system as you're going down the road and it just disappears out through the overflow. Well, the problem then becomes is how do you determine if your car has a bad head gasket? Well, again, the big thing that technicians seem to want to do is to take one of these pressure testers, which really aren't all that practical for a lot of different types of testing on a modern car. They are good if you've got a, a leak that you can actually see some moisture on the ground or something like that. This will push it out at a greater pace so that you can see it, but things like uh, head gasket problems and so on, unless the head gasket has completely failed, and then you're going to have an engine that is running poorly and so on, then they will find it. But the fact of the matter is here, you need to find the source of this before the head gasket fails completely, because if you don't, what's going to happen is when it does fail, you may have a situation like what we have over here. See, this head gasket failed, and the coolant, the antifreeze, it mixed with the oil and made this thick pudding in the oil pan. Well, of course, that's the end of the engine. So we want to get this diagnosed, and we want to get it fixed before something like that happens. Now, there are different ways to do that. Pressure test is typically not one of them. Now, here is one. This is a probe that goes into the tailpipe of the car. This is for an exhaust gas analyzer. Well, we're going to use this a little differently. We're going to warm the engine up. We're going to hold it at about 2,000 RPM. We're going to have the radiator cap off of it, or the expansion tank cap. And then we're going to hold this tip just a short distance above the opening in the radiator or the expansion tank. Then, what we're going to look for on the screen of the exhaust gas analyzer is right here in the hydrocarbons. You see, when these gaskets leak, exhaust or combustion byproducts get into the cooling system. And if that is what's going on, we're going to see the hydrocarbon reading climb. And if we have a substantial spike in the hydrocarbon readings, we have combustion byproducts getting into the cooling system, and that means we have a bad head gasket. So that's a proof positive test, but not all shops have exhaust gas analyzers. So what you may be looking for is one of these. This is a head gasket tester. These are available from most of the tool trucks like Snap-on, Mac, Matco, and things like that. And you can get them online. Now, what this does, it has these two chambers in it with this blue liquid. Now, you set the car up the same way. You get it warmed up. It's thoroughly warmed up. You're holding the accelerator at about 2,000 RPM. And you have the radiator cap or the expansion tank cap off, and you're holding this above it so that air from the radiator or the expansion tank can be pulled up inside this when you uh, do the, uh, the squeeze bulb on the top. Now, I'm going to use 
my breath, which has CO2, of course, and I'm going to breathe into this like so as I squeeze it and if we notice the CO2 in my breath is causing this to change color. We'll do it a couple more times here and we can see that it has turned to a yellowish blue and that means if you see that on the car that again exhaust byproducts are getting into the cooling system and you have a bad head gasket because in some cases if we had more time here we could do this and uh, really get it uh, so it was almost a bright yellow if you do it enough times and that's what you would see on the car. So those are the two ways that you check for a bad head gasket when you have the mysterious disappearance of coolant. Now of course in some cases the head gasket will fail completely the coolant goes into the oil or oil goes into the radiator that's pretty obvious you know what you've got there but one thing to remember a lot of things on the internet are telling you that you should take the oil filler cap off and look for uh, a yellowish slime that builds up yellowish or white slime under the oil filler cap and if you have that you have a bad head gasket well that is hogwash now granted if you have a bad head gasket and coolant is getting into the oil yes you will have this slime on the underside of the uh, oil filler cap but the other thing that can cause that is an improperly functioning crankcase breather system so how do you tell the difference well you pull the dipstick out if there's just a little bit of this slime on the end of the dipstick then it is a crankcase ventilation problem. If all of the oil on the end of the dipstick looks yellowish or whitish, looks kind of like a milkshake, then you have a head gasket problem. So that's the way you tell the difference. And if you have a question or a comment, how about dropping me a line right here at radio at goss-garage.com.